We are now in the pneumatic tool shop, the capstan and turret lathe section, where parts for riveting hammers, drills, grinders, and every other pneumatic tool are machined. This combination turret lathe is boring a rock drill cylinder. The solid stamping is first drilled before a piloted cutter bar follows. The bore is then left for grinding after heat treatment. In the heat treatment shop, carburizing, hardening, tempering and special furnaces are all electric and the temperature is measured by thermocouple. The automatic controller cuts off the heat when the moving indicator needle reaches the fixed needle, which had been set at a predetermined temperature. It doesn't look very hot, but the red heat was killed by our film light. At 850 degrees centigrade, the rock drill cylinder is quenched in oil. With the hump indicator, the rate of heating is shown graphically. It's the only known method of accurately obtaining a controlled depth of hardness. This rock drill piston is hollow, and if hardened right through, would soon break up. A jig device is used for quenching. The pneumatic tool inspection department is ruthless in its examination. Rock drill pistons, similar to the one you saw hardened, have their hardness tested. This method does the testing without damage to the part. Multi-vane grinding machine spindles are gauged to an accuracy of one-tenth the thickness of a human hair. This is the test for all pneumatic hammers. A road breaker is having its test now, and the power and number of blows are graphically recorded. All day and every day, the Broomwade factory is working to supply the world with compressors and tools. With the final view of this 500-foot shop, we'll see some of the machines in action. Here's a 20-year-old four-cylinder single-stage compressor, still going strong at John Thompson's Wolverhampton. They have another 1,200 cubic foot single-stage compressor, which has also done 20 years hard work. A recent installation in the same plant is this 1,200 cubic foot two-stage machine. All the compressors operate various Broomway pneumatic tools. This chipping hammer is trimming a weld, which is later finished with a high-speed multi-vane grinder. Drilling boiler plates is done by a small multi-vane drill. The seams of the riveted plate are caulked with a light broomway caulking hammer. On outside work, broomway plants are found everywhere. A crane being erected not far from Tower Bridge, which you'll see in the background is riveted with our pneumatic tools.
On the Great West Road from London, other portable plants are making short work of cutting 12 inches of concrete. A landmark known over the whole empire, Hyde Park Corner, as familiar as the Broomwade plants. Going into the country, we find at Stanton Granite Quarry a three and a half inch drifter drill. It's the most powerful machine of its type, capable of putting in 20 foot holes in granite. Huge masses of rock face can be blasted with the aid of this deep hole drilling. Incidentally, the operator is a champion of Leicestershire drilling trials. Operating the flushing valve clears the hole so that the steel can be withdrawn easily. Beswick Lime Works, Broomwade Type 600 rock drills are used. In limestone, which is of course softer than the granite, the drill soon gets down and the operator has frequently to clear the hole. Compressors which supply air to the quarry are slow speed vertical machines, famous for their years of trouble free service. For breaking up boulders, a Broomwade Type 200 drill is used. The pop hole will take a small charge of explosives. 